don't tell them golf's for retirees. Coming up, these GTA players are getting ready to putt for their country. And we'll take you to Calgary, where it's stampede time. First, here's Nick Cernkovich with your marine and cottage forecast. Any Canadian athlete will tell you there's nothing sweeter than beating the Americans on their own turf. That's exactly what some young golfers are hoping to do at the North America's Cup next weekend. Their training camp is right here in the GTA, and video journalist Debbie Lytle Kwan joined them on the links. They wear their red and white uniforms with pride getting their final swings in before teeing off on their American counterparts in a Junior Ryder Cup style event. You have a good amount of pride going into the event and you really want to beat the Americans. For three days, these 14 junior golfers have been attending an elite training camp at Glen Abbey in Oakville. Oh, they already have coaches. so. We have to keep that in mind is that they already have uh, coaches and systems that they already uh, have and we just try to make sure we add to that and not sort of uh, c confuse them in any way. I'm not a golfer, I'm a new golfer. There are even classroom sessions to mentally sharpen the teenagers for the match play event. At 11, Patrick Murphy is the youngest golfer on the team. But don't let his size fool you. He's used to going shoulder to shoulder against much bigger competition around his hometown north of Calgary. I, when I play in Alberta, I play against a lot of the guys who are, I guess, this tall, like the guys behind me. And uh, I, I guess my short game is good enough that I contend. Megan Potoshnik is one of only two girls on the team. I know, they're pretty good. I have a brother too, so I'm kind of used to it. You don't take no guff? No. <laughs> <laughs> now in the sixth year, the Americans lead the Canadians 3-2. But Canada has the momentum going, winning last year's event. Oh, I'm really pumped. It, the, it's a great atmosphere, and the kids that we're playing with are great. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited because we own the cup, and I hope to keep it in Canada. Now the Canadians will jump on board a bus and head to South Carolina tomorrow. On Monday, they begin their defense of the Mizuno North American Cup. Debbie Lytle-Kwan, CBC News, Oakville.